and all the bullets hit the shield. And there's probably 20 guys with machine guns and a tank just shooting at him through the clouds. So obviously he gets away because this movie is absurd. He, one of the bullets hit him, hits him in the leg or did hit him in the leg. So he goes and digs it out. He's hiding under a truck that was burnt out on the way. They catch up to him and they're using the dogs to chase after him. He hops under a truck and puts gasoline on himself to cover the smell. And then he runs away and they see him jump into the river. And again, there's like 20 guys shooting at him when he's running. Oh yeah, and then he lights himself on fire with the gasoline to get the dogs to stop chasing him. So, you know, that was great. So then he jumps in this river. You've got this whole group of Nazis just staying there watching this river. And the river is wide enough to where you couldn't just swim across underwater. So they're just waiting for him to pop up. So he pops up once, they shoot at him, they miss, because he just pops up for a brief second. And instead of just waiting like this, they send this little rowboat out there with like three guys on it. And they're like, go get him. These fucking guys go out there. One jumps in the water. He comes up behind him, slits his throat, and then sucks the oxygen out of the slit in his throat so he doesn't have to come above water. And he does this three times and then gets to the other side of the riverbank. It is absolutely fucking absurd. And on the other side of the riverbank, again, the tank is shooting at him. He's fine. Obviously. Because he's carrying a dead body on him, so the tank pool would still matter. So eventually they catch up to him, because now he's exhausted. And they use his dog, which, spoiler, doesn't die. Which, I guess, good for the movie. It's about the only thing it did right. And the dog just keeps finding him, even though he's traveling across the country and flying and shit. I, I don't know. Anyway. So the main colonel, whatever, bad guy, straps a grenade to the dog, sends the dog to go find the guy. He takes the grenade off and throws it, and it blows up and knocks him out. So when he wakes up, he's like groggy, because you know, it's one of the blurred vision thing from his POV. And they hang him. So they hang him. They watch him hang there for like two minutes. And he just doesn't die. And they don't shoot him, even though they've tried repeatedly to kill him. They just hang him and roll out. So he like lifts his leg up onto this rebar sticking out of the thing that he's hanging from and somehow survives. <laughs> and then a plane flies and lands right next to him. And his the thing that he's hanging on is like a little sign. So it swayed a little bit when the plane came when the plane when the plane came by and it falls over. So he's able to get off of it. And then these two Nazi guys are looking for gas because he's hanging by a gas station. The guy's like, go kill him and the dog. So when the guy goes to shoot him, even though he's got his hands behind his back with a rope, and he's laying on the ground after just being hanged for the entire night, still not dead. He kicks the guy in the knee, the guy hits a rock, and then he takes the guy's gun and shoots the other guy. So he takes their plane, crashes it in front of this group, of Nazis who are on their way to Oslo and he sneaks onto their truck which none of this makes any fucking sense because they're in a formation and they have this truck full of women so he sneaks onto this truck full of women but the tank is behind them but no one sees it and they have like a convoy of trucks and no one sees them at any point whatever so he kills the guys in the girls' truck, and the girls take over the truck. You know, they, u they use the machine guns that the Nazis had. They kill all the ones that they can in the trucks. He has this ridiculous fight around the tank and on the tank and whatever. Eventually, he kills all the guys in the tank. He gives the girls the tank to go to the checkpoint that the Nazis were going to. Because I guess they're supposed to be friendly. And he knocks this one guy out but leaves him to be. Because he was raping all the girls. So then he leaves this guy beat up in the field. And they do like the thing where the eight girls do the hero walk. And I'm so fucking tired of the hero walk. Where you've got like all your characters across the screen walking in slow motion toward you. It's so overdone. And you know they kill him and strain him up by the tank. Whatever. And also, 
at this point, when he, when he falls off the tank, because he's fighting the, the rapist guy on the tank, and then he falls off. There's two guys on a motorcycle, both with machine guns, that pull up to him, who've seen the other corpses, and they're like, why are there dead guys on the road? Not realizing it's their own guys. And they're literally just standing there staring at him with fucking machine guns. And instead of just shooting him, they literally put the guns down and just run away. And give him the motorcycle that has a mounted machine gun on it. The whole thing is completely retarded. So he uses the motorcycle to catch up to the main bad guy at this point, who's the only one left. This guy has the gold that he stole from their main guy. And he goes driving at the plane as it's about to take off and uses his gold digging pickaxe to lodge it into the bottom of the plane. So then he's on the bottom of the plane, hacking his way in while the pilot and the main bad guy are flying to wherever they're going to, to drop the gold off and sell it. So he gets into the plane through the bottom, obviously, because he's just hanging out on the wheel at 10,000 feet or wherever they're at. He gets in, there's this really drawn out fight with him and the main bad guy where the main bad guy just beats the shit out of him. And his face is all fucked up. And he straps the guy to a bomb, hits the lever on the bomb and drops it. And the main bad guy gets sucked through the hole. Also, because he was shooting at the plane when it was taken off, he hit the pilot and the pilot bled out. So now he's in a plane with no pilot. And you would think, oh, okay, well, he's going to try to fly it and it's going to be a rough landing. Not this fucking movie. He ties himself to just a spot on the plane. The plane goes straight down from like 10,000 feet, just face down into the earth, explosion, all that shit. Cut, and he's coming out of the st- coming out of the tar. He lived, because he's just invincible. He takes the gold, goes and gets his payday. The girls show up to Oslo. They say they stole the tank from the Nazis. Finally, this fucking movie's over. So this was incredibly disappointing. Normally, when you have an action movie like this, where it's one versus a bunch, you get something like in The Patriot, where... You know, Mel Gibson has the guns planted all over the woods and it's his territory. So he knows it the best and he's, you know, going around and shooting them, picking them off. Or you get even something like the newer John Wick movies, which were fun, but not good. Where they're using different ways to kill people on like nunchucks and swords and whatever. This is just a dude with a pickaxe in an open fucking field. And then he takes guns sometimes and shoots people. There's nothing cool about just repeatedly having your main character where he should be dead and he's just not. Like, it just makes your villains look like pussies and it makes your main character invincible. Like, when they're just repeatedly pointing guns at him but not shooting, it's like, well, what the fuck is going on? Even the fight with the main bad guy at the end of the movie the main bad guy sets his pistol down in the cockpit and grabs a machine gun and can't kill the main guy. And then he leaves his pistol up front after he beats the shit out of the guy. He just keeps punching him instead of just grabbing his pistol and shooting him in the face. And then obviously the plane crash was just so ridiculous. And like I said, you can go over the top and fun, but this was not over the top and fun. It was just over the top and fucking stupid. So this was a miserably disappointing movie for me. I would not recommend anybody watching it. Although it has good reviews. So maybe I'm just the asshole here. I don't know. I would rather watch like some sci-fi channel Octosaurus first Zilla shark shit or something. Where it's at least funny because it's bad. This like took itself seriously. And was also just atrocious. And the only things that I liked about it were that he didn't talk until the very last line of the movie. And that the dog didn't die. Everything else. After the first 10 minutes, which was just him buying the gold and then the bite you see in the preview. From that point on, when he throws the mine at the guy and gets away, it's just insufferable to watch. So I didn't enjoy this at all. And I feel like a lot of people who did enjoy it 
either one enjoyed the gore or two enjoyed it strictly because it wasn't political which is just such a low bar like i am aware of the political stuff and it frustrates me when it's unnecessarily in a movie or show and it's being crammed down your throat but just because a movie's apolitical doesn't mean it's good and this movie was atrocious i can't believe that it was as bad as it was i mean even something like like a good movie like the predator you know the the predator is like sneaking around he's invisible and he's picking them off and they're trying to come up with strategies and they're you know sneaking around they're trying to corner him and set up traps there's like intelligent things that are going on this was just a dude in a field with guns being pointed at him but not dying uh, it was just miserable. I'm going to stop now because I'm just getting irritated talking about it again. But yeah, that's it for me on this one. Uh, thanks. See ya.